topics time. Hey. <laughs> so today we're talking about our favourite type of game. Mm -hmm. So, for example, party, work placement, euro, dexterity, co-op, miniature games, war games. What other games mm. are there? What have I missed? There's loads. Games. There's loads games. Of games. <laughs> what oh, is everyone's favourite type of game? Um, I I have a, a a very specific competitive. <laughs> yes. Winning. Yeah, yeah. Winning. Yes. <laughs> How did you know? Showing uh, everyone else. <laughs> no, I um I'm really really into Euro games, mm. but ones that have a really really dull theme. So like. <laughs> Oh, this is a weird way to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> the duller the theme, dishwashing, the better the game. <laughs> so, <laughs> just very briefly, for anyone who doesn't know mm. Euro games, just typically they come from European designers, European studios. Um, they tend to be, they tend to have a lot of different ways to win, lots of different rules. Um, tend to be worker placement, but I don't think they always necessarily are, I would say. Dominantly, there's no player elimination as well, so yes. you're in it till That's the good. end. Yeah, you're in it till the end. Um, and they have, like, amazing themes, Euro games. Uh, everyone knows my favourite is Grand Austria Hotel, where you must uh, play a, ho a hotel manager and run the hotel, which is as games go. Like, if yeah. I was to say I'm playing a game about running a hotel, it sounds maybe a little bit dull, but it's really fun. <laughs> um, we see so many kind of uh, like phone app games, for example, which have that kind of premise. Yeah, so I can true. see why you'd like it. Yeah. yeah. Do you wish to install toilet? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Low on the priority um, list, but yeah. there's a game called Lowlands, which came out from Zemang Games, um, and it's literally about building uh, a field full of sheep and making sure that the sheep don't drown when it floods because you're in low lands. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> I really love it. Um, but yeah, the duller the theme, the better, I think, because yeah. I, I love I love Euro games. I think it's great. Axe yeah. Oh, it's just gone, but Axe Fire George, I think, sorry, I think that was your name, but it has gone off my screen now, uh, was saying he's a big fan of cooperative games. We've had Snakes and Ladders. Nice. Uh, strategy games, but disliking chance heavy games mm. that's her play mm -hmm. um i'm i'm a bit different for that personally because i like ones where and, and it is the same with video games as well i, I like it when it's an equal playing field mm. so i don't want to play against someone who knows how to win right okay so but when you don't there's ta ta <laughs> yeah yeah tactics are fine like for instance in Catan, i have a i have a tactic that i do and i try and cut off a quarter of the board and so i'll start at one point and do the other mm. I'll come on to that in a second. And I'll, do, I'll just do a right angle. And so basically I secure a line. Does, doesn't mean it's going to work, but that's my, that's my tactic. But games when people go, nah, beat it. Like, um, again, it's complete chance, but we were playing, um, me and my brother, I showed him uh, Draco. Mm. And he gets really wound up, wound up, because everyone wants to play as a dragon on, the first, on your first turn. So I've been the dwarves for the last 10 games I've played of it. But I, I do this voice, and he goes, great, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bite you. And I go, I'm going to block it. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, fire, I'm going to block it. And he gets really wound up by it. But obviously, there's only so many block moves you can do. Mm. And so if I spend them all, like, there's a time when you and I played, I think. Yeah. And I used up all my shield cards really early in the game. Mm. And I lost. So it doesn't always work. So I, I think I like what he really... means to say is that my tactics were so strong that he lost. <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that's me personally. I like a, yeah. regardless kind of of what it is, whether it's competitive or it can't really work with cooperative because you're all winning or not. Well, um, you put on something there that the Joey Waffles is talking about in the chat, saying uh, that they're just into thematic games that tell great stories, regardless of whether they're co-op or competitive. Nice, and you're yeah, kind yeah. of Kind of a thing along yeah, the same lines yeah. of like you like. I also I love sort of themed games like we, um, you introduced me to Cult Express, which yes. I've played so much of. I love Cult Express, um, and I adore that because I love cowboy stuff. Mm. Um, and yeah, so for the theme of that, also the mechanics of Cult Express, I'd never come across anything really other than until recently, really, until meeting you guys. I didn't know many games beyond stuff like Monopoly. Mm -hmm. Even though I've been playing my entire life, really, it's still, they were pretty much 
uh, and I don't even know what Monopoly is considered in terms of its, it's overarching It's just standard, name. you find it in every house, like yeah, set of yeah, games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you've got your Scrabble, your Monopoly, your Cluedo. Exactly, Everyone yeah. Everyone has these yeah. games. Yeah. Um, but uh, not really gone beyond them, but Cult Express is, oh, it's mm. incredible. It's so much fun. I think it's, well, it's interesting you say that. I mean, you talk about games that you, you've played for your entire life, mm. so you, you're familiar with them. Um, I think it's probably fair to say that maybe out of all of us, I'm perhaps uh, the newest to really getting into tabletop gaming. Um, so for a long time, you know, for me, my favourite type of game would be party games because the, the rules are very, very simple. Mm. Uh, you can probably learn them in about five minutes and you can play them with people who probably don't really play games much at all. Yeah. Um, also, partly, uh, because I really, really love word games. Um, and party games often have kind of like a charade aspect to it, yes. yeah. which I absolutely love doing. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a huge amount of fun. They're easy to kind of pull out and just play immediately, um, yeah. even at a party, for example. So I think for me, I'm more of a party game fan. Um, but if I do take the time to learn something which is closer to your Euro game, mm. um, if I like the theme, then then I like it. Yeah. I think for, for me, I'm, I'm particularly at the moment, very much playing semi-cooperative horror games. Um, Got to say semi-cooperative here because there are generally <laughs> elements of traitorism. Yes. Uh, okay, that's what you mean. Things that you, know, you start finding things which then turn you insane. Um, oh, okay. We are playing The Shining, the board game, Ooh. on the twenty-fourth of March, if that's a Tuesday, um, and that is a semi-cooperative horror game. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know things like things like betrayal, mansions yes. of madness. Mm. Those those things. They're they've always been something I really like. But also dungeon crawlers as well. Yeah, um, mm. where I started out when I was nine was with a dungeon crawler. Um, from that into miniatures gaming. Uh, and you paint your I miniatures, paint as, miniatures well. as well. Yeah. I paint miniatures as well. I promised you a painting lesson at one point as well. Didn't yes. I? So because I can't paint uh, at all. I apparently can. I'm told. Okay. Um, so. <laughs> if you do a painting, I want to say I would love to join in on that at some yeah, point. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. We yeah. should do a painting miniatures oh, session. Yeah. We could stream it. I don't know if that's going to happen. Don't, <laughs> don't hold me to that. But I'm like, we could stream it. Yeah, but again, that's not up to me. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm with you on uh, the games that have a semi co-op. Yeah. Uh, Just that, element. that with that slight moment where one person goes, ha ha, and I was the villain all along. <laughs> I <laughs> love a game with a traitor. Yeah. Um, I think I've told this story a couple of times on the stream, but um, we used to play the resistance a lot in my family, um, and we actually had to put it away. Um, my brother was about six or seven when we used to play it, and he's a awfully good liar now because he's played all of these games with <laughs> us. He's now 13 and it's coming in too useful. Who says you um, can't learn useful skills? Yeah. <laughs> um, but he, uh, we were all screaming at each other like, no, you're the spy, you're the spy. And then we had to bring in a platypus. And when you were holding like this little toy platypus, I think it came from a kinder egg. And if you were holding it, you got to speak because everyone was <laughs> yelling over each other. And then uh, the, the oh, God, God knows what happened to that. We like threw it away, and then we were all screaming at each other again. And he burst into tears. Oh no! <laughs> thinking like the family's falling apart, and we, we were like, no, we, we have to put this game away. Now. The Joey Waffles has actually just listed several of my favourite games in there. Oh really? In there. So, <laughs> Amazing. Big Dark Moon, Dead of Winter. Dead of Winter's fantastic. So yeah, yeah. no, I love that game. That's a good game. <laughs> Proper stabby in the backy. Yeah. <laughs> I remember the, we, we, a long time, and I have no idea what the name was, but we played a game where you were you were an art seller, and it was a pack of cards, I believe. And it's, it's just that you were on about shouting at someone, and it was a, basically you were at a an auction or a market. Mm. And the entire game was to get sort of the most, I, I don't know, you probably had a thing that you needed to collect, but basically it was a trading game. And it was going like trying to outbid each other for pieces of art Is and it trading. Modern art. Sure, why not? <laughs> I know there's a game yeah, called Modern Art, but there might it might not be that one. It was. I mean, it was a long time ago. Yeah. Like I must have been fifteen, sort of times. So it's, a, it's yeah. There's a game called Modern Art. That, modern Art. Like that's it. like a bit of a cult. Uh, cult game. Oh, okay. It's got a bit of a following behind I'll it. I'll have to look it up. Yeah. And then it reminds me of a game just from the description of a game a uh, friend of mine brought around. Um, and it was about creating your own little business, but during the game you were secreting cards with money values <laughs> around yourself, trying to sneak them away That's from the amazing. table. I can't remember for the life of me what that was called. <laughs> um, but there was a packet of crisps which stayed by me, which was filled with cards by the end of it. Very, very clever. 
But I would consider these games to have, like, buying paintings. I would consider mm. that a very dull theme. Yeah. Mm. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I remember my cousin did something about hiding cards. Um, we were playing, I think it was Uno, Uno Extreme or something like that, where there's a card where you can switch hands with someone. Mm -hmm. And what he did is he had, um, was, uh, he had two, he's held two cards in his hand at the top of the table, but then had a, like the rest of a pack about that much down here. And she was like, right, I'm going to take your two cards. He went, yeah, all right. No. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, she was like, no. Nah. Oh. Wow, oh. that's harsh. That so funny. <laughs> <laughs> so upset. Amazing. Well, I think that's probably all we have time for. Yeah. It's a pretty short table topics, but we definitely we ran over playing time stories. We did. Yeah. Uh, worth it though. So worth it. <laughs> so worth it. <laughs>